Welcome to this Tobacco University video looking at germinating cannabis seeds in soilless medium and kind of giving you some uh, tips and advantages on why you would go about uh, propagating your cannabis seeds in this medium. All right, let's get started with the video. Well, first off, it's important to keep in mind of the basics for germination, no matter what substrate media you're using. Uh, certified seed source, these temperature, moisture, uh, air conditions, how deep to plant your seedlings, and the light to provide them at that early development stage are all those germination basics you need to keep in mind. So why would you use soilless media? What's the advantage to using um, soilless media? Well, it can be purchased in large quantities, which is great. Um, it's very easy to acquire typically. Um, and when you do get it, it is disease and weed free. So it makes for a great starting material. It also has good water holding and draining characteristics, which is very advantageous uh, to growers to allow those seedlings to establish themselves quite well. It can be used in a variety of containers, which is great. It's not limiting to any one particular container type a grower might be using. And growers can purchase specific blends to best, best match their needs. As we can see here, this one uh, on this side says high pr porosity. Um, so it's going to allow it to drain uh, and, and breathe very well. Typically, maybe a little bit better for a larger um, seed or to be used after the seedling stage there. There's many different, this is just ProMix, it's just one example of the many that are uh, out there. Uh, the specifics when looking at soilless media, well, regardless of the manufacturer, a plug or germination mix should be used and not a pot or grow mix. Reason being is those plug or germination mix will be made from a finer material to help ensure good seed to soilless uh, media contact while still providing air. There's two big air pockets in there that seed could dry out or be at reduced moisture level and that could reduce your uh, germination percentage. And we could see just some comparison here of a finer material um, down this way and a little bit coarser material here. So again, you could use that plugger germination mix just for it says the germination process and then transition the seedlings to that grow mix uh, or that pot or container mix uh, when they get a little bit older and don't need that fine uh, uh, material to allow for the germination process anymore. Now, as the plant grows, keep in mind that uh, plants can be up potted in a grower potting mix. It can be used for this point forward in the grow cycle. So you only want to use that germination mix really just to get them germinated, typically in those small trays that uh, packs in really well to the cells. And then you can continue to use the grow or pot mix for the duration once they have roots for the duration of the grow cycle there. So that's your bulk media should be that. And your germination mix should only be used during the germination process to, again, help increase the odds of your success with your cannabis seeds.